Guess how long it took me to get that item. If you guessed five hours, you might want to go a little higher. Eight hours? You're close. Seven and two-thirds hours. And as a side note, uh, this, it doesn't work too well. It has no effect on the probability as I was originally thinking. But man, that took forever. Almost eight hours at it. And again, about two and a half hours of that is waiting for the system to load for me to try. Then again, that was almost 120 tries worth. It's about kind of what you'd expect, although that is rather high. So, where's the license for that thing then? Well, I'll show you. Not the augments. It's a weapon, right? Well, one, two, three and one. That's where it's at, right there. Hmm. Gotta go get some license points again, so I'm gonna go whack some wolves. So get this one, this one, and then you gotta get this one. 85 more license points, figures. But by then I'll be gaining levels really fast anyway. Hmm, speaking of which... <sighs> Man, I'm so relieved, finally. I was actually doing Sudoku puzzles, waiting for the system to load and stuff. 80 seconds from hitting the reset button to the yeah. point where you can actually start playing again. And by the way, these things, the Al Room, they are very vicious. They tend to dodge it. Well, and they combo well, too, so watch it. Yeah. And that succulent fruit item is a very good one, because it's worth 363 gil. It's about the best you'll get for quite a while in the game. And it's a common drop, too, and even a common seal. Yeah. Notice how they attack frequently. When they do that spin thing, that's a sign that they're going to be doing a combo. A potential combo, that is. Yeah, steel. I'd only recommend it on a lone one of you, but... Yeah! They also have an action called War Song. I have no idea what that does. A bow requires arrows, right? Well, this is the place where you get the arrows from. You can use that treasure near Rab and Aster, but you have a chance base. Here, you can just all out simply just pay for them. This guy right here. Of course, I've already gone by and bought them. Those aren't really needed. I just wanted to show you how you go about getting them. I don't know if you can go into the town, but you really don't even need to. In case you're wondering, I'm going into the Esther Sand so I can you know, whack some wolves with some cheap license points. Dirt cheap license points, I should say. So 
where's the entrance? How do you get into that town then? Well, this should give you a clue. Yep, it's that labyrinth area. Basically, it's in the starting area where you start from that outpost and just head straight east and then north, pretty much. That's all you gotta do. Oh, and by the way, enter the Wester Sand from Giza Plains, and there's a very good reason for that. So let's compare what we were doing. I'll take this horse out. Get rid of this horse. Sleep near. Quite a few hits, huh? Well, since I now got the license points, guess what? Okay, got that. Wow, not bad. See, gotta have arrows, otherwise the bow is completely useless. Now compare that to what I'm going to do to this Urstrix here. Get away so I can get my attack charged up. Wow, not bad. Protect what even with that in two hits. So you can just go around hitting everything with that. Oh, and by the way, there's a license somewhere in here. I'm not sure where it is, though. It's somewhere near and kind of in this area here. It's called Focus. What it does is that if your HP is maxed, that is 804 out of 804 in this case, then you would actually be doing about 25 or so percent more damage. Very helpful. <laughs> 